Hi, welcome to this week's video. My name is Paul. So I'm recording this just a few days before um, the summer solstice, the longest day. And I recorded this little clip of video a couple of nights ago. Um, so this is about 11, 11.30 p.m. And even with the cheap camera, you can see just how uh, bright it still is. This is sort of my favorite time of the year. Um, very long days. It's good for doing art because it's quite bright inside the house. So in six months, of course, it will be the opposite and it will be quite dark inside the house, especially if it's raining. And it will be dark pretty much all day. But anyway, back to the art. Um, this week I did some charcoal drawing or sketching. I haven't done any of this for uh, weeks probably. It's certainly weeks or even months since I last recorded um, one of these sketches. In terms of the materials I'm using, it's just a vine charcoal, uh, nothing special. The paper is, it's a newsprint, so it's a very thin paper, and a very cheap paper. But it actually works quite well with the charcoal uh, most of the time. Other things are, there's two erasers that I use. One of them's just, um, well, this is the eraser. It's just a normal pencil eraser. And then the other eraser is a kneadable eraser. And I use that, and you'll see me using it in a minute or so. I use it for lifting off bits of uh, charcoal from the paper. And it just creates a sort of a pattern or texture on the surface. It's good for building up detail in the foreground. Other things you could say about it. I usually, well, not always, but in this one, I started off just by putting down a layer of charcoal on the paper, smudging it into the paper, and then started working on the composition. And as usual, I try to keep the composition pretty straightforward. Once all that's done, um, the rest of the drawing is then trying to get some implied detail in the foreground just to give it a bit of interest. Like I say, charcoal drawing is good if you want to get into sort of landscape art or painting. It's a lot cheaper than um, say watercolour paints or oil paints or anything like that. Maybe the one problem with it is storing the finished artwork because it's just a dry medium on paper. It's very easily smudged. Um, so on like a dry watercolour that you can just store quite easily. Um, if you try and stack these on top of each other they'll start to get smudged. You can use sheets of um, something like glassine paper or something in between the artwork to try and uh, protect the surface a bit. Okay, so this is a scan of the, the final drawing. It just it brings out the details more than the, the camera does. And you can see in the foreground all the different marks that I made to try and create this feeling of detail or implied detail in the foreground. Okay, well, if you made it this far, thank you for watching the video. Uh, apologies for my voice. It's not... Um, I have a bit of a sore throat, so the, <clears throat> the voice
voice is sort of giving away a little bit. If you'd like to subscribe, just click on big red subscribe button below and hopefully see you in the next video.